Okay, I wanted to walk you through what I have with Delft so far. And this is part of a morphodynamic model we're developing. And so what it does is it uses Delft to get hydraulic data and then use that hydraulic data to erode and deposit sediment. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just create a new project here and, and navigate to a directory where we can download everything or to we can put all our outputs. I'm going to make a new one actually. Select that folder. And then our inputs for this model, uh, we need a DEM in ASCII format. Uh, we need to give the model the number of floods or iterations to go through and then we need to give it discharge data and downstream water level data for each of those and so I just got a text file made up here I'll put in um, so for the Delft all we really even need is a DEM we don't need the hydrograph or the iterations to run Delft we just need that DEM um, and these are going to be parameters for our model, um, just how we're going to move sediment. And so this path length will give the model how much sediment to put in each cell at a certain distance downstream and uh, which type of distribution or how to do it. So if I do that, you can see we've got our, this is kind of our erosion. So once sediment's eroded, as we go this many cells downstream, this proportion of that sediment will be deposited at that location. And then just our values of shear stress where sediment can be eroded between. Um, there'll be a random number between these two inputs. And that's the, the value for erosion at a given cell. And this is going to be for bank erosion, the thresholds for bank erosion. And flow direction, so the model knows how to, to calculate the, the vectors of flow. So those are all for morphed. Delft, I haven't quite got all these programmed in yet. Our boundaries, the way we're going to do it for the moment, is essentially going to be a straight line between two points, the upstream and downstream boundaries. And then we'll um, have an algorithm in there to find cells between those points and to have discharge come out of those cells. So it'll be up to the user to define the boundaries. And then also we have the additional parameters for Delft, our time step, and our roughness, and our eddy viscosity. Um, so this isn't quite done yet. The, these parameters are built in, but none of the boundaries are as of now. And then we just select the outputs we're going to generate from our morphodyna morphodynamic model. And we'll just click Run. And this will get Delft started. So here we go. Delft's running now. Um, and this will take about seven minutes to to go. So while that's happening, what I'll do is I will show you the input file. We have that hydraulics file and show you what you could do with it maybe in the things you're doing to make it work a little better for you. So we'll open up this one. So it's pretty simple. I mean we just have a date and a time here this is the discharge in cubic meters per second and this is the downstream water elevation so th these are all inputs that Delft needs something you could do if you want to to run Delft kind of the way, I the way I have it set up is you could put in your time, discharge, water level um, you could also put in your other parameters in this text file um, along with the directory to the DEM you want to use and then we could just iterate through it uh, for each one of those reaches uh, or DEM files and it wouldn't be too difficult to do it that way. Um, okay well I'm going to pause this while Dell finishes and then I'll get back to you and we can walk through some of the outputs. Okay we've got about 10 seconds left until this is done and when Dell finishes running it will open quick blot and we have a macro file we wrote that will automatically generate the outputs when a quick plot's called. So here's quick plot. It's going to bring up the macro file run through. Um, it's going to print these outputs right here. And then 
we're going to run through our second iteration with Delph starting again. And while that's going, I'll just walk you through some of these outputs. So let's see here. Go into our working directory and inputs. So this is just for each flood. We have a lot of different inputs. In our hydraulics, the four outputs we need are bed shear, water depth, x velocity, and y velocity. And so we wrote a macro that quick plot opens and it outputs these for us. And I'm sure you're familiar with these. I'll open one up just real quick. Just an XYZ file. We have our X coordinate, Y coordinate, and then the value of our component at um, the given location. Um, so pretty simple. Um, I should probably show you some of these input files as well. So our Delph 3D inputs. And the files we generate are the BCQ, BND, DEP, DIS, um, ENC, FIL, GRD. The INI just to run it from the command line. This is our macro file that determines the outputs and this is the master um, file that Delft runs on and then the observation of sources. So basically these highlighted files are the ones we're going to generate and there's really not too much to them. Um, we just need the discharge, we need the number of rows and columns, um, an origin, usually the bottom left corner, and a lot of that's provided in the ASCII DEM file itself. Um, so it's pretty easy to go through and to, to generate these files. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll try my best to answer them. I'm kind of new to this programming thing. Um, but if there's something to help you with, feel, feel free to ask.